Alright, ready, go! Ready, go! Go! Yeah, so as soon as you start, the pelvis will start to move yeah. toward the target. Yeah, so initially slight motion away. And then as the arms are going up, you're dropping this side and then the pelvis is moving that way for the target. And then the position. Because you are shifting this way and then also moving that way. So it's got no, no chance. Instead of leaving the ground. And then on the, uh, the down the line here. Go. So spinning, spinning out. So, so we already looked at the data. So you know, it's basically the, uh, the same thing here. And now what we'll practice is uh, in the back screen, take the image of So in the back, in the Patrick uh, setup position here, you may imagine somebody holding your hairs, and then you're turning, yeah. so you're maintaining the spine axis here. Actually, it will be easier to uh, shift the pelvis slightly this way. And then you have the, in, the feel of uh, reverse field Patrick here. When you go to this position, you will gaze the ball over your left, left shoulder, right? And the right shoulder goes uh, high enough to get so this position here. This is what you need to do. And then from here, what the right leg does is during the turn, push first here. Push go, push down. So with that, you'll be able to turn the body. So push and then later, using that push, now shifting this way slightly. So you're pushing down and out. Then we center here. That's when you left the knee bend here. Then push the ground and turn like this. And then let it go away. So um, again, doing the best, you have to really activate your, uh, your right leg. So almost it's, it's like this here. So that's still already so much. In. So this should be fast motion, active motion, kick, and then automatically we will work that position. Push and then shift. Yeah. I, I, I like that shift too much. So no need to worry about this. If you have a good push, push. So move the body up and then forward. Yeah, and then slide forward. Yeah. So throughout the entire backswing motion, you are going to push the ground up good and then slide forward motion. Yeah. It's almost like. like the pressure like makes a circle down in the foot. Uh, no? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so if you would start the back swing activity by having a, lot of, a little bit of a knee pump here, and then kick, that key continues all the way, and then slight shift this way again. That's what should happen during the back swing. During the back swing, you already have slight shift the recentering motion here. So this is the, the goal in the back swing. But because you have active leg action, still you have a lot more force on the trail side. Yeah. So then the ground reaction force goes more like this. Okay? Now, so in order to practice that, let's use this rope here. Uh, the rope is uh, flexible, so you cannot really manipulate it. Right. And you need to have good guide. Now, during the back swing, you particularly have a bit fast motion here. Throw the ball in one action. Throw all the way. Then the rope will end up about here. So if you can bring the rope here in one action, that means that the plane is reasonable. And in one action, bring this here. So the goal here is to move the end of the rope best around. Swing back and forth, two things. And then, on the way down, on the way down, instead of from here, pulling the hands down here, you have to really throw. <laughs> yeah. 
Krishna, that's in two slow, that's in two slow. That's in two slow. It's one, one active action and then throw, one active action, keep the, the, after the downstream, that's in two slow. Oh, when I'm going from here? So from here and then active action. In, so in one action. Kind of go, like, right here, just went like to left. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Same speed on both sides. So both ways try to throw out, throw out, throw out. Yeah. Yes, yes. Now, uh, let's flatten the plane a little bit. Okay. Currently, the rope is hitting the plate, okay. but guide the rope in this direction. Okay. So the space well, space right. between these two here. Yeah. You cannot hit the T because it's uh, short, right. but guide it uh, towards that direction. And the best motion both ways. Mm -hmm. yeah, use the legs actually. The rhythm is driven by the legs. Kick the ground, kick the ground, kick, push. Ah, right now, bouncing plane is uh, steeper, next is flat, but you need to maintain consistency. So when you swing back and forth, make sure you are sticking to the same plane. And do not put too much effort in the downstream. So for the moment, for the purpose of this uh, drill, just uh, try to have a, a similar motion back and forth. Okay. So continuous motion like this. So I need to hear that whoosh sound. And then this is driven by the leg. Instead, try to use the arms like that here. Just use the legs and then throw. Uh, back swing still is a bit cautious, too cautious. Go fast. Give me the fastest you can do uh, in back swing. Yes, yes. So when you have that kind of back swing, it's a one action, one motion, all the way. And then, uh, so it eliminates a lot of unnecessary. Now, image that uh, you are a Jedi, this is a uh, nice image. Then, yeah. yeah. currently your swing is a wing, wing, wing. You said, wing, wing. That means connect the back swing to the belt. Yeah, because I'm still kind of like loading up too slow. So use the active back swing and have a good wind up. And then using that throw, then you will be able to uh, accelerate early. Wing, 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 wing. So when you connect the motion, then you're using this winder, coiling, and the uncoiling. So you can use these big muscles. Instead of the arms. Again, make it rhythm. So uh, use the legs a bit more actively and develop it as if you are dancing. Huh. I was going to say, you're going you're to find out about your dance. Are you a good dancer? Not really. <laughs> My wife makes me look good. Yeah. Uh, and then one thing, so when you have active motion, then you should be able to maintain the tension. Okay, good tension. So at the end of the action, still you have good tension. Because then you can early, early on, throw the thing. But if you lose tension at the end here, then it responds late. So all the way, maintain good tension in the ball. You have to turn this, rotate this in such a way that the rope maintains full tension. Feel the 
Communication. Now, still in the back swing, the plane is going that way. Down swing, the plane is going that way. So that the two planes are not matching. So you have to pay attention to the motion of the end of the rope. Try to make sure you have the same plane on uh, both ways. Back swing is from a little Yeah, 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 like that. The reason why the back swing plane goes uh, inward is, is because, because you're turning, this is still turning. So this hip is kind of yeah, yeah. down. So have the image of turning, turning this way. So shoulder goes higher here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you will be able to uh, adjust the plane. And then make sure you have the consistent, the consistent plane both ways. Uh, basically, it's, uh, basically it's more active then maintain good tension. Let, let the rope hit your body. Yeah. So, in doing this, during the back swing, you have to stand on the right leg here. In the down swing, stand on the left leg. So, let me watch from here. Okay. I'm staying maybe a little too centered. Instead of uh, that's okay, as long as actually you need to keep your body within the triangular space. Uh -huh. The pelvis can move actively, but your head is not moving level that much, as if somebody is holding your head. Uh, so it's too cautious. Connect everything as it goes. So you're coiling your body. I'm noticing I'm like hitting high speed and the rope is, is not wrapping around the fast. Let the rope hit your body. Go around and hit your body. So it did like this. So let the let the end of the end of the rope go. So it's not about your hand motion. You're moving the rope using your arms, but uh, it's not about the hand motion. It's all about the end of the rope motion. Okay? You are moving the end of the rope around the body. So now, Intentionally try to throw the rope this way. So now you, you have to consciously control this. As you swing back and forth, maintain consistent swing plane and also throw the rope this way. So let go of it? Uh, almost, uh, no, you don't actually let it go. Okay. But to bring the, the end of the rope in this way instead of pulling it in. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, pull. Ah, uh, pull. Uh, it's because it's because you did not connect the back to the down. So you failed to accelerate early on. That's yeah. why you have to pull it all the way in. But yeah. if you if you accelerate here well and then just let it go. I did feel on one or two of those I finally started it. Yeah, the get, first the get, first the first two were uh, okay. get the rope up. But the transition. So all the way down here, you have the good acceleration here. And then using that speed, just to let it go instead of going easy here and then try, just try to pull it. Okay. So there is a, a sticker at the end of here. You want to shake it off by swinging. Then you have to develop good speed and then let it go and the sticker will be off. But if you drag it all the way, you're not really you know, right. letting go. Almost like a snapping action here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Now you are. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now you are letting go. Yeah. It's called release. I've got to use that leg to give it more momentum. Yeah. 
to hit. That was use the shorter winder. And, and then hit the speed earlier. Hit the let it go. It's a release. You had a, it's a dragging pattern. So you pull all the way in, and now, Yes. Yep. Yes. That's good, that's good. Now you have a uh, uh, release, 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 release pattern. Okay. So that's the key. In order to release, in order to release, you have to have a good acceleration here. Using that speed, you are letting it go. But if you fail to generate good acceleration here, you can pull it in all the way. And the drag is what's giving my hand half and my foot half. But, but when you let it go, your hand then clip it in the same way. Then also your swing pen becomes a little planet pen instead of a spider. Right. Okay. Imagine you are fishing, you have a pole here. Mm -hmm. And when you try to control the motion of the hook, you often have you bring it back and then throw. Sort of, that's to maintain the tension in the, in the swing. Mm -hmm. Then you can control the hook really easy. But if you start from here and then try to throw, it's hard because uh, at the beginning you don't have much tension. So the whole purpose of this back swing good active back swing to maintain the tension so that you can start moving the, the rope early. Right. The back. So that's why you have to use the rope is you have to use the winder. And you try and yeah, yeah. You have to use the winder using that, using the shoulder motion the back forward. Again, try to release. This is actually, if you look at your foot position, it's well planted there. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, your typical foot okay. motion was like this. Yeah. But because you are letting it go and then, who cares uh, here? You're not putting much effort here. But if you drag it here, the old way, it goes like this. So, uh, again, try to release it. Let me, let me record this and then show you what uh, to do. So make, make the motion continuous. So if this is one continuous motion all the way as you repeat. And then try to release it. Throw, 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 throw. Okay. Feel the tension in the back swing. Feel the tension in the back swing. So again. Watch this. It's a lot, a lot better now. Feel the tension in the back swing. Feel the tension in the back swing. Yes. There you go. There you go. Okay. So just pulling this. Way. And then you have to feel the tension in the back swing so that you can control the motion in the downswing earlier. If you lose the tension at the end. Then it's hard to uh, control the rope motion. So, oh yeah, I see what you're saying. When, because I'm like letting it, yeah, let's say letting it fall too much on it my It means that this is uh, the string of the uh, fishing pole here, yeah. and then by using this motion, you develop good tension. So, although I'm swinging it easy here, but I maintain good tension. Here. The whole hole is controlling the rope because what you are moving is the rope. Right. I hate it when it hits you right in the middle. <laughs> uh, it's pulled in, pulled in, pulled in. Throw, oh, throw, let it go. Yes. Uh, pulled in. It's stuck. It's pulling in. The only way you can actually have a throwing activity is if a full continuous motion in. Mmm, the table. Mmm, the table. At the impact, uh, at impact, okay, at impact, which direction do you think you are giving force to the club, to the grip? 
ช่นนี้เป็นอะไรมาอันนี้คือ most important for for the so you are not actually pulling him but actually the the club wants to go away from you but you don't let it go so that's essentially the force that he does so you are not really giving force that way but more this way so you just don't let the club go away from you but that's what you do every day and then the faster the motion is the more force you need to put hold it. That's how you are interacting with the club. You're not really in for this way, but throw out that way so that you don't let it go. And the, hey, you're moving the end of the rope around. So the end of the rope has to keep your body good if you have a good tension here. It will hit your body good. It's not about you quickly you move your, your hands and your body like right? that. You're moving the block around. Your head. And then for the end, for the end, you're slowing down too much. That's why you lose the tension. It's got a Let the let the end of the rope go all the way. The rope, let go all the way. Yeah, so that it can hit your body. And the bring the right shoulder higher in the back. Yes, yes. And and just slowing down. Let it let go all the way. Yeah. It's okay. I need an inch longer and an inch shorter. So initially, you need a little bruise here. That will be a medal, medal of honor, or medal of achievement. Oh, yeah. But as you uh, get uh, better, better, why you are maintaining good speed, but uh, it will hit uh, your body, you know, you know, but, uh, a bit. Uh, Easy, instead of getting hard. Okay. But still, you're controlling the motion at the end of the rope. Remember that. Go ahead. And then make it rhythmic. So make it rhythmic. Okay. Key, swing, key, key. Keep continuous. Ah, uh, the transition from back swing, the down swing to back swing is too slow. They are taking too much time. So here, at the end of the down swing, when you start the back swing, still it should be the same rhythm. Take a point. Yeah, yeah. Now bring the shoulder, right shoulder, higher in the back swing with that motion. That's a really good motion. And when you have good tension in the back swing, then you don't have to pull this in in the down swing. With the tension, then you just let it go. But if you lose the tension here, then you have to pull this in. To influence the body. So it is important to maintain good tension like this. Instead of when you have good tension here, just with a little bit of body motion, with the body motion, you can swing it really fast. The same thing here. So your, your, your main goal is to control the tension, maintain the tension all the way. That way you can control the motion of the rope. Right? And then use the rhythmic motion, so you can have a slight up and down motion, dance, 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 and then throw the rope both ways. Instead of pulling in, it's a throw. Uh, 
uh, in the back swing, in the back swing, with the stand on the right side, bring the right hip up. And go reverse to your passion. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. Go to that position and then throw in the down. Yeah, when you start, we have too much too much throw here. Come on. Just to just let it go. Just to keep one full stroke. And then start from there. Stand on the right side. Shift, shift it to the right enough and stand on the right side. The right leg, in the back swing, the right, right leg should be extended a bit more. Try to extend the knee all the way for the practice purpose. Instead of starting, starting right here, let's go all the way. So have intentional push, pushing up of your body. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have that action. Feel the motion of the end of the rope, maintain the tension, let the rope move around your body. Yeah, so this rope swing is actually a good way of uh, developing movement pattern. Yeah. Although it's a flexible, it's a bit different from the club. But if you can handle this well, maintain good tension. If you see. Without moving the body a lot, if my goal is to move the end of the ball faster here, I can certainly do that. But without pulling it in, pulling it in. Yeah. Your goal is to turn about the spine axis and let the rock go around the body. It's not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I, you make it look very easy. But it's just a matter of getting used to it. Okay. Once you get it, then it's a all natural. Let it go with one big stroke from the beginning. Ah, one, one image that may help is when you swing, let the end of the rope go more that way. Reach out more. It doesn't mean you need to uh, move your body, but when you let the rope go, the big arc here is, so uh, when I watch from this direction, the rope should be, uh, should appear long. But if your hand goes too early here, then you're dragging the rope, so it looks short from this direction. When you let the end go, let the end go, then it, it appears long. So make a large arc. When I'm trying to figure it out is I feel like I hit a lot of speed, but then the rope is like late getting around. So here. And yours yours gets on your back fast. Yeah, yeah. If you hand if you hand you keep coming here and you drag instead of swing and then let the rope go all the way here, then your hand has to keep moving this way here. Instead of pulling it in. So throw and then let the hand go far and get that thing. That way you can reach out more. Let the, let the end of the rope reach out more forward here. Instead of dragging it in, your goal is to move this out and the hip instead of so let, the, let the end go. Uh, so here, on this side here, you have to let the end of the rope go ahead of your hand. Throw, and then let the end of the, end of the rope go ahead of your hand. This is keep pulling. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way you can uh, really develop the uh, rope speed. Generally, still, your action is uh, from here, the hand moves from here, 
participation without activating the, the rod. So you are coming down here and then try to put it out that way. Instead, it try to throw, throw the rope here as if there's a target and you want to hit that one. You have to have put the early acceleration. Yes, that's yes. 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 And then in the back swing, the, when the rope goes to the net, that means that it's your style to flat. Right. You go flat here, and then the rope comes in, coming this way and then going up to your neck. Right. So you have, you have to bring your shoulder and the, the hand a bit higher so that the rope directly goes to this position. So now the bouncing head is better. They try to reach out a bit more on this side here. But by the time the rope comes here, they have maximum distance. Okay. Well, easy, easy. At the beginning, no need to be that serious. Just, just let go once and then start. If your goal is to develop some tension in the rope here. No, 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 you're pulling in, pulling in, you're pulling in. You have to have a good acceleration on this side, on this side. Okay? Yeah. Let's say the timing of the hand motion and the rope motion. If the arms are moving too early, rope is not responding yet. And later the rope goes here, and your hands are already here. If the rope was too early, like casting, before the hands are active, you know, active it's a casting, it's not good, you have to have the right timing here, so that your head does not go too far this way. And then let the end of the rope go there. So try to, try to throw the end of the rope more that way, instead of pulling it from this way. Yeah, I'm trying to throw it that way without my, my turn going like this. This my turn needs to go here, but I'm trying to move the rope more so that, that way. That's why that's why you have to develop the speed of the rope here. Look at this. The reason why to me this is a quite simple is because I guide the end of the rope along the direction I want to get. No matter what. This is the rope head here. And then when I use the body actively still I maintain that path here. So in my image, the priority is the rope motion, not my body motion. I adjust my body motion to uh, secure the rope motion. Makes sense. So that's why you have to pay attention to the rope motion. Feel the, feel the motion at the end of the rope. Uh, you know, you're stopping. You're, you're stopping at the top. Remember, in your data, when you start the downswing, your body turns at the same time. Yeah. It's because you don't have this uh, coiling, this coiling motion here. Rather, you go stop, pull the Let go all the way. You have to give extra shoulder to let go all the way and then throw. So at the end of the vaccine, Try to give extra shoulder turn. Do not stop the shoulders. Give extra shoulder turn at the end. Yes, yes. That's bad, that's bad. When you have active, extra shoulder turn, you mean that you're throwing, so you don't have time to pull. But if the shoulder stops, then so give extra shoulder turn and unwind. Wind up and unwind. It's continuous shoulder motion. Extra shoulder turn, let it go. Extra shoulder turn, let it go. Yes, yes. Now the pet is a lot better. 
on the top. You're not pulling. Because you're keep, you keep moving your shoulders. So the thing is, when you stop the shoulder here, and then start bouncing, naturally, you go here. So pulling this way. If you let the shoulder go enough, and then throw, wind the earth and the unwind using the shoulders, then you have to throw the rope this way more. Then it, it appears longer in this direction. Okay. Let the end of the rope reach, reach out more. Shoulder turn, let it go, Ooh, let it go. That extra shoulder turn, that extra shoulder has to come from the leg. Ooh, all the way. By pushing the ground with the right leg, using these, you're creating this ooh shoulder turn. Here. But if it stops here, then you're in the shoulder turn here. Ooh, all the way. By using this, mm, push all the way. So the goal, the goal of backswing is, have a good wind up here by pushing, pushing the ground with the right leg, continuously pushing all the way here. This is the, the goal in the direction. When you have a good tension built in here, then using the same muscle you can throw from the beginning of the downswing. Use, use the right leg again, again, again here. This is the image. Ooh, all the way. Ooh, all the way. Yeah. And then let it go. Let's do this. Now this time, try to throw the rope slightly upward. I'm uh, on the right side of the target. Try to throw the rope this way. This will actually help you to adjust the thing. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So maintain that feel. Now it's here, but have the image of slightly throwing it outward. Then you will be able to uh, actually throw the rock this way. Mm At the end of the down, at the downstairs, your rope is not hitting your body. Then you swing and you are slowing it down here. Yeah. They said, let it go all the way so that you can hit the body. Yeah. You keep slowing down the rope. Let it go all the way. A lot more rhythm now. Yes, yes, yes. There's more rhythm because you're using stepping like action here. Again, I'm, I'll be slightly outside here. Try to throw the rope this way. Because you cannot manipulate, you cannot manipulate the rope because it's flexible. But you don't throw the rope this way. Your head also has to work from this way. This way, this way, this way. Throw this way. Yes. 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 Uh, anyway. So your, your image, you have bias to this side. You tend to pull it in. When you use your arms, actually, then always you're pulling it in. Instead, throw, reach out. Throw and reach out. When you bring this in, the always you, you end up with the low yes. here. But if you let it go and the main thing that the rope is more in the shoulders, right? So my hands need to be a little more higher. Higher. Yeah. So okay. So here, if I use uh, one one arm here, put the, my left hand on the upright hand. Okay, 
little sound hit because I started accelerating early. And then this is merely continuation of this mode. Okay? So try to develop good whoosh sound early on. So you have to have a whoosh sound, you have to hear whoosh sound here. A good whoosh sound here instead of here. Mm, you're using you're using arms to throw uh, throw uh, the ball here. But currently you are trying to use your arms to throw the ball here. Is that use the body and throw? Body and throw. Body. Look at my head. Try to turn your body actively and then throw the ball. You are using arms, turn the body, throw out, throw, throw. Yes, that's better. Throw, yes. Yes. So in order to throw, in order to throw and let it go, you have to have good acceleration here. But when you have the in, when you have the intention of pulling this in, then you kill this. Then you are not doing much here. Later you try to put it out there for this. Yes. In order to throw and let it go, you know, to shake off a sticker or something, let it go, you have to have to accelerate it here. And then. By the time the club comes above here, your body has a maximum uh, angular velocity. After that, body slows down and you are letting go. Okay? So from here to here, you are generating maximum amount of uh, torque, muscle torque. Here, maximum angular velocity, and then slow down your body and let it go. A lot of things has to be done, to be done early on instead of waving flames. So when your flexing starts, yeah, when your shoulder starts, then you lose this coiling effect. So what happens is all the way down, pull the hand here. Yeah. If you have continuous motion using this position, using the shoulder motion will throw. Have the image of throwing. So you can reach out uh, more, bring the rock more away from your body in front of you. Feel the, feel the motion of the end of the rope. Uh, pull, 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 pull. Active back swing, bring the shoulder high, right shoulder high, and throw, yes. Let go, throw, throw. Mm. Yeah, so bring the right shoulder a bit higher, and then throw the ball. Yeah, so practice this a lot. You do have, uh, you know, you are a uh, professional golfer, but you have developed a uh, you know, certain body motion pattern so that uh, you tend to stop and use the arms to pull this in. And particularly when the low body cannot support that, then naturally you have to use the arm here. But when you have good body action, rhythmic action here, and in the back you have the image of throwing the rope that way. Throw the rope and because of the speed, it will automatically go around your body. So don't try to bring the hand up here, rather throw so you have a large arc on this side right. using the rope. On the way down, you will have a large arc on this side. So throw the rope out that way, throw the rope out that way. So uh, have more throwing action in the back. Throw, 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 throw. Yeah. So when 
when you have throwing action, when you have throwing action, then the shoulder board will do it. But if your body is to bring the hands up here, then your shoulder will stop. Because you are just doing hands there. He said, throw all the way and then put wind up. Throw all the way, wind up. Throw all the way, wind up. Throw all the way. So again, typically in the back swing, have the image of throwing the rope laterally away from the tire. How do you wrist? Wrist is okay. Right shoulder is this one. So you're moving the body, uh, you know, it's like different, uh, different today. So uh, you have different muscles here. The key is having moving motion, throw, throw, throw out, 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 out. Yes, that's good to mm -hmm. Throw, wind up, let it go, wind up, let it go. Mm. On the way down, on the way down, try to throw it more actively now. So wind up, let go. Wind up, let go. But still keep the same rhythm on both sides? Similar rhythm. But you connect the back swing to the down swing so that in the down swing you can now throw the ball with the aspect. So let's uh, have a competition here. <coughs> so you have to give me a high pitch whoosh sound on the top. So that... I know, it. I'm pulling the leg right there around yeah. my neck. That active uh, downswing should come from the shoulder wind up. Okay. My wish sound is a bit higher than yours. That's okay. uh, better. So uh, give me good wish sound, high pitch wish, wish sound. That is your Russian, your Russian. So on one hand, when you throw it, throw it out, then wait, you have to wait until the rope settles, and then start this motion. So during that motion, still your body keeps working. You still have a shorter time. You wait until this is completed, and then throw it. Instead of, when you rush, then you can pull. And also, one way to prevent the pulling is, when you have good action, pushing action here, while you're pushing, you cannot pull. So have a good push all the way. This push can, can, should give you all the way here, and then let it go. You have to still uh, use the, uh, you have to uh, awaken your right leg. Use your right leg, and push, and then turn all the way. In the back swing, in the back swing, still in your image, in the back swing, you just want to bring this about here. This is your target position. Yeah. It's not the right hand position, target position. You are letting it go all the way here. And then keep pushing the ground with that. Keep turning the body all the way here. And then it's you, reverse to you have to keep pushing all the way here and then let it go. Is that right? Just a second. It's taking the like first rep, you're like in rhythm. I feel like it's got that six or seven that you know I've got a, the first few are kind of sloppy, but then I I start to pick it up. You have to turn the shoulders by using the legs. Legs right. and turn. Right. It takes me a minute to get the rhythm going. I just take here a little bit of uh, uh, wind, wind sign. Yeah, right. But, so this is uh, kind of the, the sound you make. Yeah.
high pitch sound. Boop, boop. So you have to really throw the rope first. It's not about the body. End of the rope. That's better, that's better. Now we do it. So the end of the rope is more active. The, mo the motion of the end here, this is what matters. It's not about the body. Instead of just going to certain body position here, let it go around and let it go around. Again, that was good. So your goal is to move the end of the rope fast. Okay? No matter what, the goal is to move the end of the rope fast. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. From the beginning already, you just try to bring the hands up here. Instead, you have to really throw the end of the rope around the back. Yes. Yes. That's a very different movie. Yeah. Now you are really promoting this. Now I can see high pitch with sound. It's not about your body motion going to circle position. You're going to then when you really let the end of the rope go faster around your body, then you, you were body motion will be also really to promote that. Again. And now you are uh, you know, breaking out of your, your shell. Okay. Yes. 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 So then continue, have a continuous swing like this, then automatically your body will develop good rhythm so that you can find a more comfortable uh, flow. Okay. So this is the key. And the once you, are, you, get, you get used to this, then when you swing the, the club, you will be also very different. Because you are really letting the end of the club go instead of just to pull it. Uh, your club, uh, the, the moment of inertia is not that large. But your, your mass is large, so you have a heavy club, but the moment of inertia is not that large, so it will be easier to swing around. Okay. So, um, and also, what, what it has is something like this it's a light swing, but you have to generate food, push something. Again, continuous motion, active swing, take a point. Okay, your goal is to move that white ball around. No need to hit the T. So uh, move the white ball between the two, uh, the space between the two T's. Whoa. <laughs> it's so strange having the weight in line with the shaft. You don't, you don't get the toe uh, turned over like you see. Mm. The swing plane is the swing plane not consistent all over the place. Yeah. So you have to you have to really the, the goal is to move move this white ball along the same plane here no matter what. And, and whether you go slowly here or faster, still you are sticking to the same yeah. image that plane. So sometimes it's more difficult to handle the lighter object. Right. If you have to really Control it. And then go easy with your wrist. Go easy with your wrist. If your wrist is rigid here, you cannot really find good thing. You have to let the wrist go like this. So you have pronation, supination motion here, forearm. You also have flexion motion here and then deviation motion. Using these, you have to let it go. So that you can have nice white hole motion here. Instead of a rigid wrist. Uh, still, still, both the planes are inward. So this side is going this way, that side you are going that way. Maintain the... That means I've got to go a little earlier. So, right? It doesn't go away. Still, your, like, your, still your tendency... Cool. Still your tendency is you're pulling this in, brother. I said, as I said, throw this. 
when you when you the, when you throw the, the ball here, you have to actually have, have to go it higher than that to maintain this ball instead of if you have to go low, this will be also low here. So if you let the end of the ball continue this motion, then your head has to go up. Your head has to oh, one thing I did not uh, mention. If you look at your hand motion plane, it was about four degrees steeper than the swing plane. So usually hand motion plane is about nine to ten degrees steeper than the swing plane. Your hand has actually have to travel a little higher, higher. Okay. okay. Yeah, I uh, forgot to mention that when we looked at the table. So let's see. Here. That's it. So here, when you want to bring the, the, the white ball here, the hand goes a higher, right? Yeah. And then drop this, and then you can have good wrist motion, and then let it go here. Continue wrist motion. Okay. So you have to bring your hand a bit higher, and then let the wrist throw the white ball. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Yeah. That way you can actually move the white ball more consistently. Whoa. You're, uh, this blew my mind a little bit. Yes. That's also, that's also a good way to uh, close the face. Yeah. You come down this way and then let it go. Closing the clip here. But if your hand tends to stay low because of the rigid risk here, and your hand motion is uh, forcing the club to move such a so Rather, you move the cl club head along the pre-planned plane. Mm -hmm. Your hand has to adjust so that the white ball can actually move along that head. Yeah. Swing back and forth and then make sure you're swinging along the same thing. Go oh, with a bit easy with the wrist. Still backswing. Oh, the still backswing. Before you start the motion, your body always turning here. Okay, look, uh, look at this. Look at this. So if, if you finish the downswing here, if your body turns too early, naturally it goes through here. Still hold this position and then start with this motion along the plane and then turn the body. Yeah, yes, yes. Here you have to find the plane. Correctly from the beginning. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Still, still, uh, yeah, still in the back, so you can do this. Here, go up here, turn this way here, and then bring the shoulder high, going this way instead of. Oh, yeah. In order to move the arms and club correctly, then you have to change your shoulder motion the way you move your shoulders. Uh, for the moment, relax your wrist. Still, uh, uh, when you start this side, this is so uh, awkward. Thing. Relax your wrist, so that your wrist cannot affect the uh, color motion very much. And then let go, let go. Feel the motion of the end of the stick here. And then you can actively use the wrist but still using that steady motion. The goal is to move the white ball around your body along uh, the uh, pre-planned path. It's not about the head motion. Yeah. Yes. That's also part of release. If your head is rigid, your wrist is rigid, you cannot really release it. Then you tend to pull it in. Let it go. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, when you use uh, something uh, light like this, then you can easily sort of uh, override, override the motion. Yeah. But you actually have to really respect, respect the right. inertia. The, the shaft the, is whippy enough yeah. that if you, that you feel it go this way, if you're not straight on yeah. line. So no matter, no matter what you do, you have to move the white ball along the consistent plane, no matter what. 
then you have to adjust your hand motion and shoulder motion to make that happen. Instead of your body would certainly you try to dictate the right motion. So again, this is the imaginary plane here. So mm, 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 continue this motion. Mm, mm, continue this motion. Then you maintain this motion all the way here in one action. Throw one action, throw one action, throw one action, throw one action. You are sticking to the same. That way you adjust your body motion. Feel, yeah, feel the motion of the white ball. Yes. Yes, yes. I went a little deep, a little out. Then, as long as you can, you can feel what you're doing, then you can always adjust it. So it is really important to know what you're doing. And that part of the reason why sometimes the swing plane becomes inconsistent is look at this, look at this. When you in the transition phase here, in the transition here, if you force to come down like this, then you are not really letting it go all the way. So let it go all the way and then finish and then start this motion, let it go all the way, let it go all the way. No need to fight in the transition. That way you can maintain the uh, consistent swing plane. So have a continuous transition, no forced transition, but uh, follow the flow. Yeah, follow the flow all the way. That's better. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So when you hesitate, when you hesitate, then you tend to turn early. But if you have, you start well here, then it's continuous motion here. Swing here, swing here. With the rope, it's done certain ways, uh, to a certain extent because rope is flexible. So it has to follow that. But when you use a stick, like stick, you have to uh, use the uh, wrist motion. You have to let the wrist you know, allow that uh, the, uh, white ball motion. But if your uh, wrist is rigid, you try to uh, force the stick motion, then it does not follow that. Okay. While you are maintaining reasonable tension here, but you have to uh, keep this good wrist motion here so that your, your white ball moves along the way you want. And then as you did with the ball, try to move the end of the stick really fast. Not about five motion, but end of the stick motion. Yes. Yes. That's really So open times your body is actually interfering with the, the stick. Yeah. Open times your body interferes with your arm motion. Your arm, your wrist is interfering with the, the stick motion. So if the, if the goal is to promote a good white ball motion here, no matter what, you have to let it go. Consistent, and then have a high uh, push itself. So this is something, uh, in a sense, you are going back to the basics, but uh, work on this. No, I like that a lot, because without the club and the weight where you used to offset the chaff. And then when you use the, the, it, the club, it's uh, more rigid than this one, right? Yes. Then, still the same thing, unless your wrist really let it go, you cannot maintain this motion of the color head here. So it's still the same motion. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, this is your rope. You practice the rope swing a lot. Okay. And then, when you can uh, swing consistently, and then keep good speed up to the end of the rope, then your club swing also changes. To make sure you use the same motion pattern in your club swing. Rope swing and club swing are not different. Although it's a flexible, so it's a different, but still you should be able to throw the club head as if you're swinging and walking around. 